Okay, let's go quickly over this printer problemo. This one deals with a Canon TS9020 printer that received this ending please wait a while error message. And here's the quick synopsis. I'm getting a ending please wait a while message on my Canon TS9020 printer. The only way I can get rid of it is to unplug the printer. This individual was using Microsoft Windows 10. They were receiving this problem for about five hours. What else? They checked for driver updates for the printer and they also checked for operating system updates. And I asked them if they were unplugging that printer power cable or the universal serial bus cable. This individual claimed that the connection was wireless. They were unplugging the power cable. Now here are some quick instructions. In a few moments I will give you the exact instructions that actually fixed this problemo. What you want to do is power the printer, disconnect the power cable from the wall outlet, press and hold the power button on that printer for 30 to 60 seconds, leave that printer disconnected from power for 5 to 10 minutes, and then reconnect the power cable. Now, power on your printer and see if your Canon TS9020 printer no longer receives that error message. That did not fix this issue, but it may fix your issue. They claimed they couldn't turn off the printer, power button wouldn't work, blah, blah, blah. They just needed to unplug the power cable because that's exactly what I told them to do. So I don't know why they... Anyways. Okay. Now, these are the instructions that fix this problem. Remove the printer software from apps and features on Microsoft Windows 10. Remove the printer from printers and scanners. Then, in a command prompt, you'll type in the word P-R-I-N-T-U-I space forward slash S space forward slash T2. Then a window will open up and you will want to select the Canon TS9020 from a list if you have multiple printers. Then click on remove. Now you're going to select remove driver and driver package. Then you're going to click on OK. Then click on yes. Finally you're going to click on delete. Now you're going to want to download and reinstall the printer software from Canon. I no longer write blog posts. I do not have a blog with the link to the software, but I will show you on screen where you can go to get it. Now, this individual claimed that it worked, but only because I copied all of those instructions. Thank you so much. I do not receive thanks very often. This was Canon's sales page on screen for you. Now, this is the support page. There, there's a few different ways that you can obtain drivers. You could type in Canon TS9020 printer driver or Canon PIXMA TS9020 driver and get to this page or you can go directly to Canon and then click on the support button and then type into the box TS9020 or PIXMA TS9020. Now Canon's website will automatically detect your operating system as you can see on screen I'm using Linux. Obviously you're going to be using Microsoft Microslop Windblows 10 operating system, but it will still detect Windows 10 operating system. And then go ahead and click the, the page you may see may look like this. And then you would just click on drivers and downloads. And then it'll take you down here and just look for the printer driver. There, there also may be full install. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Oh, uh, let, let me. This is now into overtime. So let me transition really quickly. And I can tell you right now whether or not Canon has the full driver and just give me a few seconds. But th this video is over with. You just had to follow my instructions. You want to properly remove the driver from Windows 10, the Canon TS9020 printer driver. It may likely have gone corrupt. And... Um, this is an additional tip. If you go and pull out your compact disc with the printer driver and software and then you go to reinstall your printer, you may have the same problem. If you try to download the software from Canon's website and try to just perform a reinstall of the printer driver and software, you may have the same problem. That's why this is a common problem on, on Microcrap, Microslop, Windblows operating systems is that the printer driver becomes corrupt. And so you have to correctly and successfully remove it using my instructions, using the print UI tool. Otherwise, it's just an endless loop. It's circular illogic. You just circle around like a mutt chasing its tail. 
and you'll know, never, never get anywhere. Okay, now let me tell you, let's see, Canon, and it's under my printer, and then we're just going to Canon, yes, Canon, look for full driver and software. You may, you may only, let me close that page because I don't want you to see that. You may just see the driver listed like here, IJ printer driver, but, but it is recommended that you look for full driver and software. What that means is that when you download that file, it will install the driver for your printer and the full suite of software. Maybe you ha you have an all in wait, is this an all in one? It may be, but I recommend that you install the full driver and software because that way you get the other software that comes with it. And they may have a diagnostic tool. They may have an updater. They may have a scan also. It'll have it just. Look for full driver and software. It's one download, and that's what I recommend. If I'm not on Windows 10, so I can't see whether or not, but, but you know what I'm saying. So I'm using Linux, but I'm assuming Microsoft Windows 10. Mm, I don't know what the the percentages are. It may or may not have the full driver and software. If not, you just install the driver, which will be one of these. IJ printer driver, printer driver 5.4, you know, that's all you have to do. Any additional tips here? Oh, now here is some additional tips. When you go ahead and use that print UI tool, once in a while you may receive an access denied error. If you see an access denied error or you keep trying to delete your printer and, and it says you cannot, you don't have, you know, it just tells you cannot delete the driver. Go ahead and restart window, excuse me, wind blows 10. Restart the operating system and then try to delete the driver using my instructions again. So you type in print UI space forward slash S space forward slash T2, select your printer, click on remove. Select Remove Driver and Driver Package, click OK, click on Yes, click on Delete, and then Reinstall. All right? If, if when you reboot your computer, you still cannot delete the driver, it, it should tell you that the driver is deleted. It'll tell you, too. It'll tell you, Driver, delete, delete it successfully. Or if you get any errors. A common one, I think, is Access Denied. You can restart Windows 10 into Safe Mode and then try to delete that driver. This is a very common problem with Microsoft. The drivers become corrupt, and you cannot, you can try it over and over. You can try to reinstall on top of itself. No. And and here's another piece of information. When you use the uninstaller, when you go ahead and uninstall the CAN software from what programs and features, it, uh, it doesn't remove the driver correctly a lot of the times. It's just Microsoft, such a, just an albatross that I refuse to use it, but a lot of people still use it. So you have to, the, the goal tip in this video is you have to delete the driver from the operating system. Otherwise, it could just be an endless loop. Adios!